In this short video, I'm going to show you how we take a estimate for a welded assembly, like this one we have here, uh, turn it into a quote to the customer, place an order for it, turn it into a work order, and then order the component parts, which are on the bill of materials here, uh, to another vendor, and uh, and then do the work on the welder welding itself. All right, so I have basically built this estimate here. It's fairly basic. Uh, we can see there is uh, the second step of the process is ordering a laser cut uh, kit of parts. And like I showed you, they're on the bill of materials here. Uh, and then we have some, some actual welding processes and testing and other things with setup times and run times per piece. So I'm going to click checkout right here. I'm quoting 10 pieces to them. If I click this little calculator button, it will pull in the right price automatically. Let's say we're going to mark that up 20% as well. And I'm just going to click save here. So now that that's been pulled through, let's go ahead and send a credit quote that we can send to our customer. So I'm going to say we're eight weeks. There's the price we're going to quote them. I'm just going to click save. All right. Assuming that they, we've now emailed them a PDF of this, they've sent it back to us as a, as a new order. We're going to come right up here and we're going to launch a customer purchase order from this. So here it comes into our customer PO module. Let's give them a PO number, choose the address, uh, and this is all good. Let's say we're gonna also just check off that we, we know we can make the dates, the pricing, everything's good here. We're kind of just doing some little contract review steps, confirming that steps. So let's go ahead and submit that. I think we're good enough to go. And now we can issue a work order. So I'm gonna issue work order for those 10 pieces. Let's say Adrian is the project manager, Annabelle is going to be the planner for it, and I can submit that new record. So now we have a work order. You notice we don't have a part yet for this, so let's go ahead and jump back uh, into our quote and our estimate, and I'm going to duplicate my estimate over into our part module just by clicking right here and submitting that new record. And I'm going to pull the operation components across from the estimate. And I'm going to uncheck a couple of these things that we don't actually need to do. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and click save. Okay, so now we have our part level. It's connected to our estimate. It's also connected to our work order right here. And we're going to finalize this work order. We only have a single routing step, so that's easy. We're just going to click save. ProShop supports multiple routing methods per part number. And you'll notice right here I have this clipboard icon. So right here, I have all of uh, my uh, details about the items on, the, on my bill of materials that had pulled forward from my estimate, including descriptions and quantities and the vendor we're going to buy them from, part numbers and prices. Because there's a status date here, uh, that means this clipboard icon has turned blue, and that means it's feeding into our purchasing system. So I'm going to come right up here to my uh, name and I'm going to go and add this into my shopping cart. I set up a shopping cart to uh, handle my purchasing. Let's go take a look at that. And if I see this shopping cart that's here in green, I can click that link and look at that. There's the work order inside that cart. So if I click right here on my COTS bomb purchasing path, this takes me to a page where it extracts all the the items on my bill of materials that I might need to purchase. So there's all our part numbers and, and descriptions uh, and quantities. Uh, the order that we placed was for 10, uh, 10 parts, uh, 10, 10 assemblies. And so these are 10 times per. And we can see those there over on the right hand side. So that's what it's suggesting we should order. We're going to go ahead and go to the next step. And it pulls in my vendor. Now, of course, Bay Industries is already pre-selected. I could choose a different vendor, but I'm not going to in this case because that's who I'm going to buy it from. So we're going to go to the next and final step where I can issue a purchase order. So it's now pulled in the quantities, the vendors, the prices. I can click create a purchase order. It fills in Bay Industries. It fills in all my order numbers, descriptions, the work order itself, quantities and prices, and dates. Now I can go ahead and click save. And that's now made this purchase order. So I am ready now to email this to my vendor. We also need to grab the files to send to them. 
So I'm going to click right here on the work order and click this link that says part folder. This is going to pull up the folder that ProShop automatically made when we made this part number in the system. And I didn't show you in the video, but we, when that happened, we grabbed and dumped these DXF files uh, into that folder. So we can now grab those or the zip file of those, and we can send that along with the purchase order to our vendor. And you'll notice that this icon is now yellow. That is linking in the purchasing status. It's been ordered but not yet received over onto this PO. So if we click back here, here we are again. And let's pretend for a moment that uh, a week has passed and we're going to now receive this item. So uh, actually over in the receiving area, they would pull this up on their purchase uh, on their receiving dashboard, excuse me. They would come visit the page and they would check off these boxes assuming that they had uh, um, kind of over going over it quickly, but received, inspected, and released these parts. If there's any certs associated, I could certainly attach those in here. Um, but let's go ahead and check these and show you the workflow. So that's now all good. There's no outstanding items. We've released all 20, 120. If I come back to the work order here, you'll notice that this, uh, this clipboard is now green. And now we can actually proceed with the actual welding of the assembly. Uh, it's clear to everyone that can see this work order that the items are now in stock and uh, that work can proceed. So that's just a quick little taste of how we can go from an estimate and very quickly move all the way into order entry, create a work order, order those parts from a vendor, and then bring them back in. Hopefully that gives you a little idea of how ProShop would handle a situation like that. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.